Hi everyone, I'm John McGee from the Hillsborough County Lake Management Program and I'm here today with Jennifer Aragon from the adopt pond Program. We're both here to demonstrate a technique that can be used on both ponds and lakes. Alexis has a problem with her pond, so Alexis, tell us what's going on. Yeah, thanks guys for coming out. Um, as you can see, my pond's pretty green and nasty. I'm not sure what's in it, so I hope you guys can help me clean it out. Yeah, thanks for asking us to come out here. This is actually duckweed, which is a native plant just growing on the surf surface of the pond. Um, and we'll demonstrate a couple techniques. We don't normally have the resources is to help everyone out um, in doing this, but we want to show the viewers at home a couple techniques to be able to do this. The first step would normally be to plant native plants in the pond so that they will help out compete the duckweed and keep it from growing back afterward. But for time constraints, we're going to do the duckweed uh, skimming and pumping methods uh, to start out with. So let's go take a closer look at this duckweed, see exactly what it looks like. All right. All right, Alexis, now that we're down at the pond, we can get a little bit closer look at exactly what this duckweed looks like. You can see here, there's duckweed on the surface, and you can see all of this on my hand is duckweed. And the duckweed, you can tell there's two leaves to it, two very small leaves, and there's a couple roots coming out. So that's how you can tell that this is duckweed and how easily you can remove it from the surface. All right, these are the materials we're going to use to skim the duckweed. Okay. Uh, it's a roll of silt fence, which you can get at any hardware store. It comes in 100 foot sections and it has stakes already installed. This is what we're going to use to catch the duckweed. Then we're going to need to float it. So we're going to use these empty jugs and we're going to just tie them on with twine. Okay. Like this. Um, now, if you don't have big jugs like this, you can use whatever you've got. Milk jugs, soda bottles, anything that will float. All right. And then we're going to need some weight at the bottom to keep the net from laying down. Uh, so we want to keep it vertical. And we're going to just use these old mower blades. And if I don't have mower blades? Yeah, we kind of figured you didn't. Um, you can use anything heavy. Some people have even just tied rocks on. Okay. Heavy washers, whatever will help hold the bottom down. All right. All right, so let's get started. Okay, that sounds good. Alright Alexis, so we have our uh, fence installed, mm -hmm. um, it's floating out there right now and we're using it to corral the duckweed to this side. Okay. We're using the wind to our advantage, so we're, we're positioning it so that the duckweed is blowing toward us, and now we're going to remove it and we'll slowly tighten the fence up as we need to, to keep the duckweed coming toward us. Alright, yeah, and as we're skimming it over here, I'm going to be over here skimming out the duckweed as it goes so that we can then remove it from the pond and we just pile it up near the pond just so it doesn't wash right back into the pond. So anywhere around there where it won't have a chance of washing back in. So you just saw the technique to remove it manually, skimming it out, and that's pretty easy to do. Uh, it takes a, a, some people and some time, um, but if you're a little more mechanically inclined, there's another technique that was also invented by a pond group that you can use to pump it off of the surface, sort of like vacuuming. We're going to show you how to set that up. The first thing you're going to need is a pump. In this case, we're using a three inch pump, so here's the hose and you need something to catch the duckweed. So we're going to build a skimmer. And to do that, we're going to take a box like this. Uh, it could be a trash can, uh, whatever fits in your pond. Uh, we're going to cut a hole in it that's the size of the pipe. So this intake hose is going to go right in here like this. And then we're going to sink this into the pond just to the level that the water skims over so the duckweed will spill in. And then we're going to pump it off the surface. The center block here is to help keep it obviously on the bottom because it's going to want to float out. The trick here is that it's going to have to keep enough prime in the pump without sucking too much water. Because we don't want to just drain the pond, we just want to take the duckweed. Okay, so uh, here we are in the pond. We've already got it set up. Thomas here has got it positioned just perfectly for us. And we're going to show you how it looks when we actually turn it on.
All right, so this is the discharge, and uh, you can see it's taking quite a bit of duckweed out as we go. The important things to remember here is that you want it to be far enough from the water that the duckweed isn't going to run right back into the pond, obviously. And you'll also want to move this pretty frequently so you don't erode the banks. Okay. Because uh, you, you just have to keep moving it around and making sure that it's flowing over kind of a dry area and that you're not washing any dirt into the pond. And so the duckweed isn't overflowing. That's right. We want to keep the duckweed up on the ground. Um, you could build a containment area. You could pump it directly into the bed of a truck. Anywhere that you can catch the duckweed and then let the water run back out. The important thing is that you don't want to create worse problems by causing erosion. When it dries out, are we going to pick it up and throw it out? In this case, we're just going to leave it right here because it dries up into very paper-fine stuff that can just be mowed right over. Okay. Um, you could also put it in your garden using it as mulch or compost. Um, some people uh, use it to feed uh, even animals, I've heard. All right, well, we just finished out here. It took us about five hours. Alexis, what do you think? Yeah, it took a long time and a lot of hard work, but it paid off. The pond looks great. The pond definitely does look great. If you'd like to do this at your pond, you can go visit the website, Hillsborough Water Atlas, and visit the adopt pond link to find out the detailed instructions on how to do this. And remember, if you're gonna do this on a lake, you need a permit for vegetation removal from the Environmental Protection Commission. Uh, you can find that link on the screen right now.